What's up guys, welcome to another video where I'm going to talk about random stuff. And today we're talking about being careful with what you learn. Because realistically speaking, you won't remember everything that you've ever learned on any map, or in anything in life, or in CS, or anything. Um, and because of that, you should really be careful with what you learn because um, some things are just not worth learning, even though it's cool. And some things, I mean, realistically speaking, you really should know no matter what. Now, you might have seen this boost on Nuke that was on Reddit a little while back, where you can run boost up this little slope, and if you do it right, you'll actually fly up all the way here. I messed it up. But the point is, is that this is something really cool and is kind of useful, right? But now you need to think, how useful is this actually, right? How many times... Am I going to have a teammate who's willing to do this boost? Um, how many times am I actually going to play this part of the map, like the outside slash mini part of the map? And, you know, how often is this really worth it, right? I, obviously, I'm not doing it properly, but that's not the point, right? How useful is this to remember? And the real question is, how often am I going to use this? Realistically speaking, how often do you play nuke, right? Now, if you're like my team right now, who whose best map is probably nuke at the moment, then this is probably something you want to learn. And I am the guy that usually plays mini slash outside hybrid, so this is actually something I want to keep in mind. However, if you're someone like the ramp player on nuke, how useful is it to learn that boost? Not useful at all, to be honest, because you're not going to be over there, right? You're not going to be the one doing the boosting. You're not going to be the one being boosted. Why would I bother learning how to do that properly? So, as a ramp player on nuke, I would not bother learning that, right? So, this is what I mean by be careful what you learn with what you learn, because sometimes the things you learn are just not useful to you, right? Um, so, if, let's take another example on nuke here. How important is it to know the general lineup to throw the molly from heaven to door? Right. Let's take this example. So, you know, first of all, how often are you playing nuke? Is it often? Is it not often? Right. You want to consider that. Second of all, how often do I play this part of the map? Um, and third of all, how you, how many situations am I going to use this nade? All right. So, this is the kind of um, these are the kind of questions you want to ask yourself when you learn something, so that. You can either decide to commit it to memory or just decide that it's not worth remembering. Now, let's go to me here, right? Hello, me. How often do we play nuke? Pretty often. It's our best map. We want to challenge people on this map because we believe we have this down pretty well. So, okay. So we play nuke pretty often. Now, how often am I playing, or yeah, how often am I playing this area of the map? Well, the entire CT half, right? My position on nuke is roughly in this area here, um, a hybrid between upper and outside. So usually you'll find me in mini, or maybe Asian vent, or top hut watching the door. Right. So this is kind of my part of the map, even though I'm going through heaven. Now third of all, how often am I going to throw this molly? Pretty freaking often, right? This is nuke after all. You want to stop any nonsense coming out of door early in the round. So this molly, I can conclude, is very useful to learn because I'm going to be throwing this very often, right? I play nuke a lot, I play this part of the map a lot, and stopping door rushes is very, very important on nuke. So this is something I want to commit to memory. Now let's go to a third example, uh, just to really demonstrate my point in the negative sense. How often should I memorize this smoke, right? This is a pretty cool smoke. It catches my attention. I can smoke off the control windows. So let's go through the checklist. How often do I play nuke? Pretty often, right? We like to play nuke on this team. Now, how often am I in this part of the map? Honestly, not very often. How many times am I going to be going ramp and trying to smoke control windows to go lower, assuming, assuming going lower? Now, you could also say you use this on T side, so let's consider that as well. How often do we go ramp and try to go lower? Eh, not terribly often, maybe like 2 in 15 rounds. Okay, 
So we've concluded that we don't really go lower that often. Um, or I should say, we don't really go ramp very often as the CT. Okay, I don't go ramp very often. As a CT, I don't go ramp very often. If I'm gonna rotate into lower, I'm probably gonna be in this area here. I'm probably gonna be going down to that. So there's no point. Um, so I'm not really gonna be ramp, right? I'm not really gonna be ramp. And on T side, we don't really go ramp to lower that often, admittedly. So should I uh, put this into memory? Probably not. Right? I relearned it for the purpose of making this video, sure, but past that, I probably will forget how to throw this because I don't need to know it. I'm not here very often. I'm not in this situation very often. So, you know, I see that smoke that my teammate throws. I'm like, oh, that's a cool smoke. But I think to myself, how often am I really going to use that smoke? The answer is not very often, so I'm not going to keep it in memory. I'm not going to ask for a lineup or anything. I'm just being, oh, that's cool. Okay, whatever. And that's that. So, I hope this gives you some insight on being careful with what you learn and hopefully you can remember to ask yourself these questions of how often do I, am I going to actually use this so that you can prioritize your attention and focus towards other parts of the game like maybe your aim training, maybe your angles, learning your angles or you know learning other utility or tricky spots on the maps that you play. So anyway, thanks for watching and like the video if you like the video.